hello welcome back to my channel so today I have decided to do a different type of video bring a different type of video for you guys it is a video that has been on my heart for the longest the longest like literally the longest but I don't know I don't know um every time I wanted to make this video to film this video I don't know it just felt like I did not have the exact things you know that i wanted to come here and say so i really took my time like the longest time to come here and actually uh, film this video for you guys and just um i don't know just speak my heart out you know i don't believe i'm here on youtube just to talk about beauty and vlogs and all of that and you guys seeing me doing my life so if i can at some point in any way add some value to your life uh, through the things that i have gone through it'll be my absolute uh, payment so this is why i thought of doing this video first and foremost uh, second because man i wish i had somebody they would actually come and talk to me the way I am actually now talking to you guys. You know, if you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, it really don't matter. I think this video will apply for whatever season in your life you at. So I hope it brings value to your life as it is bringing to my own. So yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. So from the... From the title, you can see that today I'm going to talk about 10 things, 10 things that I wish somebody had told me when I was on my 20s. Man, let me tell you something. First and foremost, 20s is the most um, tricky phase of our lives, I believe. You know, it, it was, at least it was for me. I was very immature. I was very toxic. I was very, 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 very out of my own i was in my way i would say this i was my own my worst enemy so to now be on my 30s yes i am 30 <laughs> to now be on my 30s and you know know everything that i know be where i'm at i feel blessed i really do feel blessed i feel like you know god you really took me to ups and downs but to have learned what what i've learned it actually uh makes it all worthwhile if i'm if i'm making sense okay so uh i'm talking a lot let me let me get into the video okay so first things first is get therapy 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 i was about to say when i was actually writing down the things that i wish somebody had told me earlier in life uh i first wrote trust god but as I, as I wrote down, trust God, God started speaking to me and he was like, yes, you can trust me, but for you to trust me, you will actually need to be in a mental state where you can actually trust me. I was like, what God? And he was like, yeah, yeah. The reason why many of us don't trust God, including me, okay, including me, me, me is the fact that we don't even trust people like we don't trust people that we see like we don't trust our parents we don't trust our friends we don't trust nobody and so if we can trust people that we see in front of us how do we trust god that we don't see so therapy is one of the first things i'm talking about because it is what actually gets you to see your own issues your own triggers your own things you know your, the things that actually hinder you to see God so I was really about to write down trust God but then I was like mm, you don't trust God if you don't trust people you don't trust God if you're not in a in a healthy state of mind to allow yourself to trust somebody because trusting somebody is allowing that person to come in and be part of you know give ha have access to you have space around you you know so it is very important that we get therapy therapy is the strategy that god has given us to be able to trust them did i make sense i hope i did because this is exactly how i heard it okay i'm trying to say it how i heard it like 
So therapy, 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 like go to therapy, find out why you act the way you act, but why you react to stuff the way you react to stuff. Like make sure that you can actually get to the bottom of why you are who and how you are. Okay? The second thing, of course, it is trust God. It don't matter how, it don't matter where you at, especially if you're a Christian, uh, it don't matter where you at. If you don't trust God, you will need to trust God at some point of your life. At some point of your life, you will be, you will need to trust God. You will need to trust Jesus. You will. You can go ahead and do it yourself though. Yes, you can. But it'll be way more difficult. At some point, you're going to have to spin the block and get back to God and be like, okay, okay, so what do you, what was your plan again? <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's better for you if you actually go ahead and trust Him the first time around. So, trust God. You won't be able to manage life to go through life without God. Like, like, you can have money, you can have whatever you want, but there's just some things that, you can only find in God. Okay. Third thing is gonna be listen to your parents. They are everybody needs a tutor. Everybody needs leadership. Everybody needs uh, mentorship. Okay. Your parents are your very first mentors. Okay. And they've been here before. They've done life before. They they've been here way longer than you are i promise you they are the people that wants the best for you like if i had actually sat down and listened to what my parents were trying to say to what my parents were trying to you know um teach me i would probably probably be way farther in life than i than i am and number four is be faithful to you you might be asking yourself what you mean be faithful to yourself yes be faithful to yourself if you cannot be faithful to you to who you are to how you feel you know to the things you want for you you won't be able to be faithful to nobody else if you don't show up for yourself which is the most important person in this world you will never be able to be to to find to show up for anybody else you only give what you have you only give what you already have. If you don't have the habit of showing up for you, you won't be, you won't show up for anybody else. You won't show up for anybody because it's not a habit. It's not part of you. It's not part of who you are. If you can show up for the most important person for yourself, which is you, what makes you think that you won't actually think of anybody else enough for you to show up for them? You won't. Number five is, please, please, please. I think this is one of the most important things and the most uh, important revelation that I've ever gotten from God. Do not give from an empty cup. Why? Why? Because if you actually give from what you already lacking, you will never be able to heal in that area. Come again? <laughs> yes, I said what I said. I said what I said. If you're blind, you need to be, you need to see first in order to go ahead and pick up somebody else who is blind to come and, and show them how you got to see. Blind leading the blind, y'all both gonna end up nowhere. So I really do believe that if you really wanna help people get well, get healthy, get full, and running over, and then you give. That's just something that I wish somebody had told me because I feel like I didn't get well sooner. I didn't get healthier sooner. I didn't get healed sooner because while I was in my process, I was trying to help people. You know, not that I shouldn't help, but I should get well first and then help. That's one of the things that I like. I feel like if somebody had told me this, like it's okay for you to trying to figure out this on your own first. And then when you will, you come back and you pick up the, the rest of the people so you can actually help in a better way, be more efficient helping. Number six is believe in yourself. 
It doesn't matter if God believes in you. It doesn't matter if other people believe in you. But if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't see yourself correctly and you don't believe in who you are, you will never be able to actually act on it. I, I've learned that you defer, you know, I've learned that change happens here first. If you can change your mindset, that's why I do believe that the devil fights are so hard in our minds because your first step to change, it's mental. That's why the Bible says that however a man thinks he becomes, he is, you know, well, however a man thinks he is. So however you think of yourself, then you're going to embrace it and then you're going to be it. You believe in yourself, believe in who you are, believe in the gifts that God has put in your heart, believe that you can do whatever you want to do. It don't matter what it is. Just be there. Put yourself out there. Like just believe in yourself. A uh, seventh thing that I would say is put yourself out there, man, put yourself out there. It doesn't matter if there is other people talking, if there's other people podcasting, if there, if there is any other people, uh, you know, creating something, put yourself out there. People going to people going to talk about it. Good, bad, it don't matter. At some point they're going to stop talking about it. Just put yourself out there. Number 8 is get comfortable being uncomfortable. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Every time I felt uncomfortable, I wanted to run. Until I discovered that most of the changes that happened in my life happened when I was uncomfortable. Uncomfortable that I couldn't run, I couldn't go anywhere, so I had to stay and because I was so uncomfortable, that made me change. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Like this whole storyline that life is comfortable. Life, it's not comfortable. Life, it's not easy. Like you will go through stuff that you will be like, what? What is this? But the ones that survive, the ones that go to the next level are the people that actually got learned to be uncomfortable, learn to make decisions under pressure, learn to, you know, be in situations where they would, they would rather not be, but they there. So you know what? Let me handle it. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. You will face things in life that you do either break or make you, depending on how you manage your need to feel comfortable some break or make moments in our lives are defined by how we manage how well we take uncomfortability number nine it's gonna be be careful with who you give access to this is very big for me. Like I'm not a people person. I try to, I look like, but I'm not, I'm a very introvert person. I don't like, I really don't like a lot of people. So, um, but I always had this thing very big on me. The Bible says bad company corrupts good hearts. If you've never noticed some of the things you say today are things that somebody else was saying around you and it became part of who you were because you heard it so much. You know what I mean? Me and my best friend, we kind of talk the same because we are best friends. We talk the same. We talk, we speak the same language. We speak the same thing. You know, choose somebody wise enough to teach you a language that will actually help you grow. You know what I mean? Quality over quantity. I know we are in the era where we want to be, you know, have so many friends, da, 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 but as you get older, too many friends becomes problem. Like just brings problems, like problems and problems and problems. Okay. You can, I'm not saying you cannot get to know people. Look, you can get, you can know a lot of people, but just make sure that the people that are really your inner circle speak the right language because me and my me and my friend if you if you listen to both of us you will actually say they speak the same yes because we talk like we we close we too close to not speak the same language if you're gonna have people around you make sure they speak in the right language because whatever language they speak in you will soon speak if they speak in doubt you will start speaking doubt if they speak in belie uh, believing you will start believing if they speaking, um, I don't know, uh, wealth, you will start speaking wealth. If they speak in poverty, you will start speaking poverty. So make sure that whoever you align yourself to 
is actually speaking a language that will help you soon. That's that's another thing. Me and her, <laughs> she always we I always say I always say that I don't need to translate my spirit to her. Like she will decode me in minutes. I might sometimes not even say nothing and she'll know exactly what I'm thinking. This is so annoying because she's close enough to know me like that. She close enough to know me like that. So choose wisely. Like just don't don't let just anybody be around you like spiritually mentally physically you know you don't want that type of access to somebody who's gonna come and destroy that like and destroy you so i'm very skeptical with the people that are lot around me number 10 is fail fail learn to fail learn to be a life like this is life I wish somebody had told me this in my 20s like bro i had so so like i was so afraid to fail and i didn't notice that me being afraid to fail made me sometimes not try things that i knew i could succeed at just because i was so afraid to fail the thought of failing at it made me not want to try it so fail 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 you're gonna fail on your 20s on your 30s on your 40s on your 50s on your 60s bro fail keep on failing please do keep on failing because if you take out the pressure that society puts on failing you will actually not be afraid to try stuff some of us we just we just don't try it because we are afraid to fail just like me some of us we just don't do it because we don't want to risk it bro make risk it life is a risk life on itself is a risk take the risk if it does go wrong then what try again try again the worst thing that could happen really and literally it's your failing like it's a no it's like okay i failed i at least i tried for me failure is actually you not trying if you if you tried you already somewhere like it's never a failure it's more of a lesson you know next time you already know not what not to do and I think, like, at least for me, society had put a pressure on me to be good, to be right, you know, to always have it all together. Bro, I don't have it all together. Man, shoot, I do not have my life together. If there is anything I don't have together, it's my life, okay? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't. Bro, I don't. I wish I knew, but I don't. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know what's going on. I just keep on trying and failing and keeping back and you know getting back up and try again and that's it like it's it is important to fail you know failure give us experience if anything so yeah like learn to fail and another thing i would say i think that's the 10th or the 8th or the 7th i'm confused at this point take it easy with yourself this is your first time trying life okay like this is your first time trying life yes you can go to therapy yes you can trust god yes you can take care of your mental or your physical or your spiritual yes you can and still sometimes not understand exactly where you are and what you're doing with your life and fail you know and feel some type of way and feel pressure and like like allow yourself to feel allow yourself to go through the motions allow yourself to not know everything to not have to have it all together you know to be at your 30s and be like what am i doing with my life like bro i don't know what i'm doing with my life i never in my entire life thought that my 30s was gonna look like this i had a different scenario in my mind about how i thought my life was gonna turn out like and it's not nowhere nowhere like nowhere near what i thought my life was gonna be and one of the things that really really have been on my spirit lately and been making me like just be okay you know it's life is that i've had i've had to learn the hardest way possible to take it easy on myself like there are things in life that are totally outside of my control it doesn't matter how good i am it doesn't matter how much i pray it doesn't matter how much i go to therapy it doesn't matter how much i do whatever if i don't take easy if i don't take it easy on myself and understand that this is my first time trying life 
I will go crazy. I will literally go crazy. So take it easy on yourself. You know, take time to be okay with not being okay. You know, like I normally, what I do for myself is that I, I just, you know, I, I allow myself to feel. Like I will give myself, depending on how bad I'm feeling, I will give myself a couple of days to just stay here and not be productive and just cry, do whatever I need to do in order to express my feelings, to be honest with myself, to just let it go of myself a little bit. And then I'd be like, okay, baby, you already had your pity party. You know, are we cool with the pity party that we gave ourselves? Okay, cool. Now let's get back up. And this has helped me not go crazy, to be honest with you. Because some of us, we don't even stop to cry. We don't even stop to have a pity party. Some of us really do need it. Like, bro, it's nothing wrong with having a pity party. As long as you know that at some point, that pity party has to stop, you know? You know? And you have to actually get back up and get back on your shit. Like, that's it. Just take it easy. You don't have to have it all figured out. You know, you don't have to have it all together. You don't have to always be right. You don't always have to gain, you know, to win. Sometimes you're gonna lose. Who is part of life? Life will make you understand. If you don't understand that you will lose, you will go around frustrated with losing, with something that is part of life. It is part of life to lose. Like, you will lose. You will lose on your on your teens. You will lose on your 20s. You will lose on your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. You will lose. It is part of life to lose. It's part of life. It's part of who we are. Like, you know, losses give, give us lessons. And wins, I don't know. They do something that I don't know what it is, but they do something. <laughs> But I, but if I'm being very honest with you, I've learned way more with my losses and my, you know, with my losses and with my uh, mistakes than I've learned with my wins and my success. So, you know, like just allow, allow, and I know social media era just sometimes it doesn't give us the allowance to be humans, to be normal. To not have to not have the dream job at 30s, to not have the dream partner at 30s, at 20s, you know. I had so many dreams for myself. I had so much aspirations of where I was gonna be at at 30. No, at 25. 25. But now I'm 30 and I'm nowhere near whatever I thought I was gonna be at. And that thing frustrated me so freaking much. It frustrated me so, so freaking much until I made peace with the fact that I have no control. Like, I have no control over what happens, you know, with me. Like, I can plan my ways. I can plan, I can have my plans, but ultimately, it'll be God's plans. Because when you give yourself to Christ, bro, hey, it is his plan. Like, his plans for you are the ones who will remain. That's why a lot of people don't give control and don't allow him to lead. Because if you allow him to lead, he'll, go, he'll take over. <laughs> he will take over, okay? This social media era, like, oh, everybody got everything together. <sighs> Let me just say this. I hate it. I hate it because mistakes and uh, missteps become a big deal. Became a big deal. Like... Some so many people go into depression, anxiety, and so many other feelings and so many other things because we don't allow ourselves to actually fail and take it easy on ourselves. Like now, another thing I will say before I leave and I let go and I go is don't compare yourself to nobody. Whatever you think people living, there is a price they pay, they ain't telling you about. Anything and everything you'll see on social media, that is a price they're paying that they not talk, they don't talk about. They don't talk about the price of the blessing. <laughs> Child. They don't, they don't talk about the price of the blessing. Every blessing has a back part to it. Like every blessing has a back part that you don't know about. 
the marriage that you see that you aspire to have that is something in it that that person the both 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 of them had to give up that you don't know nothing about that successful person had to give up things and nights and nights of sleep and things that maybe if they told you to do the same thing they doing you wouldn't be able to do it so this comparing thing of social media i understand i sometimes feel some type of way i feel pressured sometimes you know it's the man we all grew up together we should be at the same level but everybody's journey is different whatever they're going through you don't know what they had to go through to be where they at right now you don't know what they had to give up you don't know what they have to lose in order to be in that place you don't know what they have to give in order to be in that place some of the people we envy the most if they told you what they did to be where they at you would run from it. So live your life. Enjoy where you're at. Enjoy the season. Am I saying don't work hard? No, please. I'm the I'm the person who always say you gotta work for it. Cause discipline will cause talent will never be enough. You have to be disciplined, you have to do what you gotta do, you have to work hard in order to get everything you need. The blessing is behind the discipline you keep letting go of, okay? But when you do, when you do all you know to do, and it still don't work, allow yourself to not know everything, to not having to know everything. I think this is one of the secrets to life, if I'm being very honest. I think, I, I think that's why, I think that's why I'm staying here for a minute, like, take it easy on yourself. So I'm going to finish this video right here. Um, I hope and I pray that some of the stuff that I said here helped you in any way, shape or form. If you guys do want to uh, share, you know, the points that you guys like the most, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, you know, help your girl out. If you guys do like this type of videos, Please let me know. I will do more of them. And I will, see you, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay? So, stay blessed. And please, take it easy on yourself. Bye.